Hello everyone, it's Comfort Beach Ambesh. I hope you're all okay. Yeah, it's been long since the last time I released the video. Yeah. So uh today we're going to start our tutorial sessions on how to integrate Airtel mobile money payments to your mobile application or to your website. So uh <clears throat> I know most of you are wondering, like, hey, why are we going with Airtel mobile money instead of just using Flutter as I presented earlier on? So why are we going with Airtel yeah, alone on its own with, without uh, going with uh, Flutter? Wave? Yeah. So uh, the, the reason is simple. The first reason is that uh, when it comes to the charge fees, when, we are use, when you're using Airtel mobile money, you're going to, be, you're going to have like uh, a small charge yeah, on, on, on the other payment gateways they charge more since i'm sure that that's how they make money yeah? and the other thing is that uh the transfer so with airtel mobile money payments once 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 the money is deposited into your airtel mobile money partner account what it's going to do is instantly you can withdraw it even after even after a second of uh depositing money into that account rather than on some other payment uh, gateways where whereby you just have to wait a lot of time in order for you to in order for you to transfer money to your personal account so uh, let's get started so uh in these tutorial sessions you're going to be using postman so uh before we go to postman in this tutorial let's make sure that uh uh we open up our airtel developer account so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to my google chrome and i'm going to type in airtel developer portal yeah so click on the first link yeah so the airtel developer portal looks like this i'm going to leave a link in description maybe in case if you couldn't find it so what i'm going to do next is to sign up so why are we creating an account on this portal yeah so the reason is simple when when we sign up here we're going to have access to our apis to our api keys so we're going to be using those keys to interact with airtel mobile money so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to sign up right here so and then i'm going to say uh comfort last name some as usual and then uh the username i'm going to say with levels email id i'm going to say uh with levels or for zero four at gmail.com Phone number zero nine six eight seven nine three eight four three. Uh, country it's Zambia. And then the password. Yeah, I'm going to use my own password. So make sure that you fill in this form. Yeah. So uh, thanks for signing up. Check your email box. So I'm going to check from my email box. All right, so it's loading. My network could be a little bit slow, but it's worth it. Yeah, so uh, all right, so let's see. So here it is. Here's an here's an email from Airtel Developer Portal. So what I have to do next is uh, where's that link? Your successful signed up. Your login username is with levels all right so yeah i'm sure an account was my account was created successfully so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use that username which i used to sign during the sign up process and i'm going to use my password and then what i'm going to do is validate and continue uh user's email doesn't exist so let me try to use uh yeah valid username so let's see the username which is here welcome for chambesh our username is with levels yeah so let's check all right so uh let me let me try to see what i'll do here all right so the issue it has to do with verifying my email address before I, I could log in so what i'm going to do is verify email address 
yeah so uh now i've created my account and uh, i should be able to log in this time and then i fill in with my password so in this story i'm going to walk you through uh the airtel developer portal yeah so they have sent an otp with them each and every time you're trying to uh, log in they always make sure that they send uh an otp so let me check from my mailbox your one time password so here is my otp all right so where's that page so i paste it here and then i log in all right let's wait for it all right so i think uh it was successful so uh what you have so this is uh the portal so this is the portal after you create your account on airtel developer portal so uh, before I, re I can register my application, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk you through uh, the portal. So here we have the home page. So this home page, on this home page, it is just the home page of the site, and we have documentation. So with the documentation, with the documentations, it has the well summarized documentation. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be following these documentations in these tutorial videos, and. They, here there's support when you click on support if you want to contact the airtel team if you want to contact the airtel team and here there's my applications yeah so our main focus is on my applications and the last one when you hear this account information yeah so we're going to click on register application so why are we clicking on register application so with airtel developer portal they separate they separate each and every integration so uh, let's say uh if if this mobile application or website is called uh with let's say with levels with levels tutor tutorials so i'm going to name this one with levels tutorials this description uh tutorial series tutorial series and i submit all right so it has been submitted what i have to do next is to click on with levels tutorials yeah so when you click on an application so here there's test production so what does this mean so uh what what this means is that uh on airtel developer portal there are two sections here uh there's a uh, developer there's production and test so when you're test when you're testing your application what you have to do is to click on test and when you're in production you just have to click on production but before you do that, you need to make sure that you contact the Airtel support team. So here, here's everything we have here, the product subscription. So here, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to subscribe to Disbasement APIs, select country. I'm going to choose Zambia. Yes, I'm going to choose Zambia, submit so here our main interest is displacement and collections all right so uh we, we just need to sub yeah, and collections collection apis so i'm going to subscribe to collection all right so uh there are two so uh we make we mostly use displacement when you're trying to uh like send money to a personal account from airtel yeah from airtel yeah, I mean, when you're trying to transfer money. Yeah, so uh, we have subscribed successfully. Now, what do we do next? What you have to do here is uh, we go to key management. Key management. Here we have client secret and client secret key. So, guys, you need, you need to take note very, very carefully over here. So, at first, this client secret, it will be hidden. Why? Because... The compliance team would like to 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 verify your company or your business. So, uh, if you so if you want if you want to view this client secret key, what you have to do is to contact the developer team. You have to contact the developer team, and then you'll be able to view your client secret key. With me, after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact the support team. So in the next tutorial video, I'm going I'm, I'm going to be able to check this client secret key. And this client ID, this one, it's 
by default it's visible it doesn't require any it doesn't require any approval so as you can see our status is pending so here it is supposed to show partially approved so uh that's all for this tutorial guys uh maybe okay before 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 i can go i need to show you how you can contact this airtel support team so there are two ways here one is by clicking on support you fill in with your details so i'm going to say uh, uh comfort and last name i'm going to say chambesh email address uh with levels zero four at at gmail gmail.com and then the country it's zambia as usual zambia and then it's uh yeah it's the go support and then here i'm going to see uh uh let me type in i am kindly requesting uh for kyc review yeah so this is this is my own idea of sending this message yeah kind requesting for kyc review yeah i'm sure my message was sent to the team and there's also another way of applying here you can just click on go live on the dashboard here you can just click on go live go live and then uh select country zambia select product yeah so uh all of this will be available once the once the was this the uh the compliance team uh agrees to approve your account so uh that's all for this story and in the next episode we're going we're going to talk about collect we're going to talk about uh creating an authorization yeah thank you guys I, I, and i hope that you i invite your friends to watch more tutorials on this and to subscribe to my channel thank you very much guys cheers see you next time